This is an old issue. Uh, it sometimes occurs when you're trying to vMotion. So I was trying to move a VM from one place to another. Uh, but basically, there it is. The operation is not allowed in the current state of the host. So this KB article applies to a lot of situations. Um, I have another article on Tinkertry.com about this. But today, I have a different situation. And it looks like, for me, that this is probably going to be my workaround. Because, uh, well, my network is fine. Everything else is fine. V switches are fine. Everything responds to ping fine. Not sure what else to try, basically. So let me cancel out of that. And head on over here and just, like it said, let's remove this guy from inventory. Now, removing from inventory is one thing that we can do, and it's going to say not in maintenance mode. So disconnect. Is definitely a little easier and that's what it's saying here right disconnect not remove from inventory and then reconnect the ESXi host so we're looking at it it did finish it shows italics here and it's now disconnected so you don't have to type anything you're just disconnecting reconnecting but the object still stays there let's see if that has any effect Okay, that was a mistake. It's like my browser field automatically uh, populated this. And yeah, definitely a mistake. So be careful with Chrome or whatever you use for saving username and passwords. Okay, we're back, hopefully. Reconnected. And that's, let me go back and just try to re clone the same exact VM. So here's what I was doing, a clone operation. And the validation phase right here is where it was failing. Compatibility check there. It worked. So compatibility checks succeeded and it instantly finished. So yeah, I was just in a hung state. And well, not much more to say about that. It's going to work just fine now. No network troubleshooting needed. So that's it for the short little video that kind of brings to life this KB article where I suspected uh, my issue might be, where you disc need to disconnect and reconnect. And uh, I'm going to close out by looking for this on my site. And again, I blogged about this a long time ago. <laughs> um, and I'm actually on 6.5. So here I'm talking about restarting the service, but uh, no, I restarted the appliance before troubleshooting this. Service appliance didn't matter. I was not going to get back. Here's a similar one, but this is about powered on, so it's really not the same. Okay, so there's not much to do there to change. It's just uh, an age-old issue. And uh, I suppose I could update this article or just do a new one. Either way, I'm going to refer to this video now. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting Tinker Try. IT at home.